when you come home from the gym and your new Exopack's here. So we're going to stay in the door family. So I'm going to do an unboxing of my new Exo Mountain Pack. Um, I got it in their uh, Fusion Blemish sale. So it was $100 off. They said it's Blemish. In all honesty, I was going to buy one of these at some point anyway. I was just going to get the green one. Uh, I did not care what the color was, honestly. But if you're like me, you know, that's that's a lot of money to put down for a backpack. So when they said 100 bucks, I thought I was like down. Uh, but yeah, I want to make a reaction video to opening it, see how it is. I literally just got home from the gym, that's why I'm wearing this. As you can see, not open at all. So this is just pure reaction. Let's check it out. I will say I do love that they have their own boxes for XM Mountain Gear. Sticker that came with it. Definitely going on the boat case for me. Shipping invoice. So a little more of a close up. You can tell it's like the classic fusion color. And that's a little bit lighter, like right here in this strip. But if you're looking at it as a whole, I mean, you gotta look close. Yeah, okay. This is a little bit lighter, darker, lighter. I, I'm really having a hard time. I mean, unless you knew, in my opinion, that this was, considered you know blemish i would not i would not even i wouldn't even know but yeah guys i mean it's an exo pack so it's like you know it's gonna be high quality like box off and i looking at it, i can't tell the difference i've seen these up close at you know like from the gone to expos and such see them up close or especially I just plan on getting the green one and I don't care about the color. If you're looking to save money, go check out their blemish sale. I mean, yeah, it, I'm not, I'm not big on like the, you know, this kind of camo. I usually, I like Sidco a little better personally. But like, if you don't care that this polish came slightly off, go save yourself some money. I'm excited. I have to go mow the lawn today. I think I'm gonna load this baby up and use it for a little bit of a workout. I'm very excited to get it here. Yeah, I have no complaints over this. This is awesome. Yeah, so I got it set up to me. Um, if you don't know about this, um, Exo's website, they have a series of videos of how to set it up for you uh, to your personal body. I will leave it in the description um, like a link to it thankfully it is not difficult I'll show you so if needs be you can adjust you can get under here and adjust like how these all are set up you can adjust the belt pretty easily um, the belt fit me perfect right away I really enjoy this lumbar pad it fits really well because you want this to sit you want pretty much this line to sit right there in the middle of your hips um, or right there on your hip bones. Yeah, so the only issues I had was a little bit with this hook, as you can see. There clips on both sides. I'm not taking it out because it's a pain. As you can see, it kinda will slip in underneath each side. Um, the only issue I had with it on both sides, yeah, 
the only issue I had was trying to slip it back under there. These are very tight because it was new. I actually had to get a pair of pliers and shimmy it in under there to open it up enough. But once it was open, it went in super easy. Yeah, once I got that all done, um, one major thing to know is what they recommend when you're doing it to do it with weight. So I have a 25 pound weight in the pack, which was actually really easy to get in there because normally there's Velcro right here. There's a couple buckles. pound weight that I just got sitting in there I really like this design that on the back of this they have these extra straps yeah that was super easy to get in there and get it loaded on there for me it only took um, once I got the hooks in there I had it set up to me in about five minutes tops just to get to a point where it wasn't I couldn't feel the weight on my shoulders it was all on my hips um, I'm going to do a little bit more reaction to it. Like I said earlier, I have to mow the lawn today. I've got a quarter acre lot, roughly, that I'm going to mow. I got to weed it and everything. What my plan is, because, so I have the, so these exoskeletons, the spiders, are rated for up to 250 pounds. I'm going to aim for 80-ish, because I guess that's about where they say if you have any issues, I've seen some reviews where they say that there is slippage, like it might slip off your hips or you can feel it just trying to come down um, between 80 and 100 pounds. So my goal right now is I'm going to do that. I'm gonna put it about 80 pounds, maybe a little more, and I'm gonna go mow the lawn. And yeah, one, just cause it's leg day. So I'll actually be able to feel, you know, after my leg exercise, I'll really be able to feel it. But just to like test heavy loads, I wanna see how it reacts. So I'm going to get this loaded up to 80 pounds and then we'll get back to you with, uh, yeah, my chores for the day. All right. So I'll slide the lights. So what I ended up doing is I have two 25 pound plates. There's 50 and then I have a 40 pound weighted vest. This is what I'm having to use because I don't have a way to get close to 80. Um, the exo pack itself is cause I have the 4,800. It weighs about five pounds, 10 ounces. So roughly 96 pounds yeah i'm a little bit scared by this but if i can do this i don't think i really have much to worry about all right so got it all up it's in, on my hips definitely for sure um sitting at about 100 pounds i do feel like it's trying to slide down a little bit on my back like Okay, it's just how I didn't have it sitting right. But like, how I've got it sitting, like feels pretty good. You can see all the weight on there. Honestly, it doesn't feel too bad. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get the yard cleaned up and uh, see how it goes. So, just got done mowing the lawn, weed eating. In total, I've had the pack on with uh, nine, sending 95 pounds, 10 ounces, 96 pounds for a little over an hour. I uh, can say there's like no discomfort, honestly. I feel comfortable, other than the fact that it's 90 pounds. I feel like the pack's not like hurting me or pinch me in any way. But this is at the end of the day after I did leg day but yeah overall XO 4800 very impressed with it I don't feel discomfort I can say I do want to get this pack off though because 90 pounds is a lot of weight um, 
a little over an hour straight with it on. But yeah, it's uh, it's been pretty good. But I'm gonna go get this pack off. Okay guys, so just to close up and review, I am very impressed with this pack. I mean, looking at it from here, yeah, you can tell there's a slight color difference, but unless you're like a first light enthusiast, like your diehard first light, I don't think it's gonna bother anyone. Um, the pack worked amazing, it was very comfortable. Um, the hooks were a little bit difficult for me, I just had to make sure I opened up the area for them a little better. But pack felt great carrying around that 90 pounds for that extended period of time. I would not recommend going the whole time with that much. I figure if you're out hunting and you're packing something out, you're uh, you're probably going to be, you know, you're going to take breaks and whatnot. I didn't take any breaks for over an hour of walking around with it. I did not have good shoes. Yeah, overall pack did great. Yeah, only complaint I would have would be that I wish there was like a pocket on one of these belt sides here, but that is something that you can get from first um, from Exo Mountain Gear. I don't think they're very expensive. I'm gonna look into it, but I have not even covered like most of the great features, like where their water storage is inside there. I can open it inside there. Super easy to get to. They have this water shield right there. Just put your water in there. Yeah, so if you're packing out something, that water, that barrier is gonna keep like all the blood from getting to all your gear. Yeah, there's just so many things I haven't covered with it, with this review, but I, the only negatives I found was that, yeah, putting those hooks on the first time because the pack is new was a little bit difficult, but after I got those areas opened up super easy, I wish there was a pocket on the belt I can get one of those put in there easy. Overall, I would very much recommend everyone, if the well, you're seeing this and the sale is still going on, go look into it. This pack is awesome. I mean, empty, feels like nothing. I'm super excited, super happy with it. Can't wait to get it up on the mountain. And yeah, thanks to everyone for watching. Just wanna say again, um, I am not affiliated with EXO. I've just heard a lot of good things about them over the years. A lot of things I thought were too good to be true about how comfortable they would be. I will say I am very impressed, especially with that much weight. That's a lot of weight to be just walking around with. I want to try it on a hike. Maybe I'll do a video of that later. But overall, I would recommend everyone go look into it. It's well worth the money. If you want like a good pack, you plan on working hard with it, go look into one of these. I'm excited. It's going to be a good year for me hunting this year. And thank you everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one.